How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to another episode of our Expert Mode Let's Play for Terraria 1.3. So we've done a lot in our adventures so far and it's good to be back in our Expert Mode world. We've beaten all the mech bosses so the time has come to make our way into the depths of the jungle and prepare an arena to fight the mighty Plantera. So we're doing pretty good, we've got our Mega Shark, I've made some clarified bullets, We've got a pirate staff, we've got Nimbus Rod. We should, should, <laughs> we should be okay. <laughs> um, but it's funny how I say that and then <laughs> sometimes bad things happen. But look, we'll see how we go. I've got some potions ready. I think, I think we'll be good. So let's, let's get our adventure underway. I can't wait. And we just went to a little plant, a, a piranha party. But, oh my gosh. Let's deal with these tortoises because they can get annoying. Alright. Oh my gosh, what was just totally owning me? Oh, it's a wasp. Okay. Gee, they do a lot of... Oh my goodness. Stop hurting me. I don't approve. Hmm, this area is okay. And I do like areas that are close to the surface. Which this one kind of is. Let's, uh... Yeah, that's pretty good. Not too far down. So I think we'll make this our arena. So let's have a quick little look around before we start building. But let's just mark this. I usually... If I'm going to do something special, I put a weird pattern of torches there. And then it really stands out to you later on when you're making your way back. You're like, oh, that's what I was going to do there. Okay. So, here's a little bit of clarified. So, let's start our official collection. But I wonder... Should we make Chlorophyte Armor? Should we make Shroomite? I mean, we did start our Glowing Mushroom Farm nice and early in this playthrough, so... We should be able to get quite... Quite... A bit of Glowing Mushrooms, so we could make Shroomite. Which would be good, we've got the Mega Shark. That's a that's some pretty crazy damage we could dish out. And let's make some room for all our new stuff. Actually, I don't need Water Leaf, I've got tons of it. Okay, cool. Might as well pick up some Arichalcum. Arich... Arichalcum. Arich Alcum. I think I'm saying it right. It's got a CH, so... Ch -ch. I'm gonna say the ch... Arich Alcum. Oh my gosh, these wasps hurt so much in expert mode. It's insane. It is insane. Stop hurting me. That's... Oh my... <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> Please don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no! How far? I'm oh, 40 seconds off a heal. No, this is no. I say no. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I can't move. Oh no! Please don't come up here, bat. I mean, thing. Waspy hornet. No. Oh guys, I can't move. <laughs> I literally can't move. I'm gonna get. I will die in one hit to that moss hornet. Oh. Okay, we've almost got our potion heal. We're almost there. Oh my gosh. Let's summon some pirates. Arr! <laughs> They're gonna save us. Arr! Oh, okay. Nimbus could help. Yeah. There we go. It's, it's interesting because I only just picked up the Nimbus rod, so I'm not used to using it in glorious battle yet. But now I am. So it's all under control. Oh, there's a life fruit. No way. Oh my gosh. I almost didn't notice it. That would have been crazy. Oh, a cobalt helmet. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's not as useful like finding uh, shadow equipment in the corruption earlier on in the game. That is super useful. Just from killing, like, you know, Eater of Worlds and... Or the little corrupter babies, or whatever they're called. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about.
Ah, here we go. So, as always, when we're making an arena, we're just going to dig out a nice large area. So Plantera's got lots of room to run and play and, th and throw flowers around. And it also block out those nasty hornets because they are causing us a lot of trouble. Like a lot of trouble. It's like crazy trouble. Oh my gosh, go away. So, let's see. I'm thinking probably just this area I'm pointing to on the map now. I'm just going to get rid of that chunk there. The bit I'm standing on and that. That should probably be about it, I think. Now, as always, guys, when I do something like this, I'm going to speed it up and put it to a bit of music. Um, and I'll see you on the other side when we're ready to fight the mighty Plantera. And so, we've almost finished our Plantera Arena, and the reason I'm back at base is because I died. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. So, it gives us a chance though to get our potions and all that good stuff ready. And the Travelling Merchant is here, and he has the Sitting Ducks Fishing Pole, which is a massive upgrade from our Fisher of Souls. So definitely going to pick that one up. And I have been trying to get the black lens so we can make the twins, but it just will not drop. But that's okay. Sometimes, you know, it's just not meant to be. So let's pick up another iron skin and another regen for the for the big battle. Then I believe we also need to make potions, and that's part of the reason I died just then. I ran out of potions, <laughs> which is not good. So I've got the normal healing, but because we've got so many glowing mushrooms, we should be able to upgrade them at our alchemy station, no? Oh, I need... Is it unicorn horns? No, I need crystal shards to make the higher heal potions. But, that'll do. I mean, it's only an extra 50 hit points. We should be okay. Hopefully this isn't famous last words. When Happy dies very soon. <laughs> and then you can all say, I told you so! She got better potions! Okay, let's actually take a couple of summoning potions, make another endurance. I got some even koi so we can make two wrath potions. Three, I've got one even koi left. No? Where's all these even koi coming from? Okay, that's the last one. I had four. Alright, that's okay. We've got some heart reach. Beautiful. Anything else I need to bring? Warmth? No. No, 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 no. And let's put our Spelunkers away because I don't want to accidentally use all them up because they are so useful. So, let's see. So we've got our potions. We've got... We've actually got some Clarify it. I don't know if there's anything we can make, but let's, let's have a look. I can make 20 bars. And... Ooh, you know what I could make? I could make some Clarify bullets. That's probably gonna be useful, yeah? Could that be... Could that be good for the fight? I think they're pretty strong. So let's... Let's buy a big stack of musket balls. And then... Actually, there's a workbench here. Can you make them... No, we need to go to the anvil. So I think... Clarified bullets are quite a bit stronger than... 13 versus 9. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's take a few. Or clarified arrows. No, no. Let's take the bullets. I can always mine more clarified. That's no big. Okay, so we've got tons of nice bullets for the battle. Bullets for the battle. Buh, 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 buh. Okay, we've got our Nimbus. We've got our Pirates. Yeah. Okay, let's make our way back and fight some Plantera. And so, here we are with our arena almost finished. 
and that lovely red X on the map for where I got killed. <laughs> but it's all good, because we are nearly ready. So, I'm thinking what it will do is... Oh my gosh. Oh, blah, blah, blah. oh so many attacks. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, so much loot dropping everywhere from all the mobs that are dying. This is actually turning into a pretty good mob farm. Okay, I think we're good. So now we just need to make some little platforms where some honey can go on. So that... Oh my god, it's an Uzi! Oh my god. That's pretty cool. I don't know, is it better than the Mega Shark? I think it might be. Let's see. 39. 30, uh, uh, 21 crit. 23. Uh, I think I don't think it's actually as good as the uh, Mega Shark anyway. We also picked up another life fruit, which is nice. So all we need to do is put our little honey platform somewhere. So let's... Let's get that happening. There we go. And as always, let's just put a couple of blocks there, a couple there, and we can pour the honey in. No, don't fall on my head, monsters. Ah, stop it. There's too many mobs. Oh my God, go away. Better. Oops. I meant to hammer that, not like destroy it. So, uh, we've got the pone hammer, so we can do that. There we go. And let's hang our heart lantern from there for extra regen. And all we need to do is make a similar one somewhere over here. So let's put one there. <laughs> because that's that's the closest place I could get the mud block to go. Four, five, six. And I should actually add a little bit of space for... Well, that granite element, leave me alone. Oh my gosh. Jungle is so crazy. Okay. Where's my pwn hammer? Let's add an extra little platform to also... Oh! Monsters! Stop it! Okay. Let's also add a little bit for a campfire. Nice. And let's just put a campfire on the floor too. No, of course not. Not letting me put it there. Okay. Well, let's add it to this platform then. Three. And that's it. I think that's everything. It's nice and lit up. Yeah, it's pretty good. Archaeologist. Oh, did we kill that archaeologist? Did I just see the yo-yo the galettes drop? 83 damage. That's pretty nice. Okay. Is it going to be good for Plantera though? Possibly not. Now, I think... We've got everything set up, so now we just need to go down to where the bulb was and summon her. I believe it's a her. Let's do it. And so, here we are at the fateful bulb, ready to fight the beastly Plantera. Will we be successful? Oh my gosh, more life fruit. Awesome. Will we be successful or will we get totally pwned? I don't know. And there's only one way to find out. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've done it. We've summoned it! Ah! Where is it? Oh <gasps> my gosh! She moves so fast! Buffs on! Buffs on! Where is she? Oh my gosh, stop shoot! Oh! <gasps> she can shoot through blocks now! That sucks! Can she? Oh my gosh! Oh, I can't! I can't move! Okay. We're in the arena. Life is good. We're in the honey. Alright, map off. So, let's, let's get this party started. So far, so good. I'm liking the chlorified bullets. They're nice. Now, usually in my arena, I also add an extra bit at the bottom to allow the bouncy balls that she uses to, yeah, sort of stay out of the way. But, obviously, I've forgotten to do that. So, this, this could be interesting. Um, there may be resulting in Happy's death during this because the spiker balls now can get me really easily. But, uh, oh, how about let's cast some uh, Nimbus Clouds as well. Just just for the lols. I wonder if you can get Shadow Flame debuff on her. Why, why am I bothering about that? It's not very useful. Oh, why didn't I make the extra spot for the thingies? Okay, we got a potion off. Nice. Oh, oh, she's enraged. No, stay away from me. 
Oh, she's so fast. No! Don't. Ah! Ah! So, yeah, we kind of died. <laughs> um, I think I need to lower the bottom of the arena. Like, we were going okay for damage, but we couldn't avoid her damage. So definitely need to work on that. Okay, so we're back here in our Plantar Arena. And I think a major problem that we had during the boss fight was that the arena is not tall enough. So we're going to lower it by quite a bit. Uh, oh gosh, I don't know. Oh goodness, it's a bit dark. I think... Yeah, probably about this much, because we'll leave a platform here for the spiky balls to fall through. No, thank you, Mr. Turtle. Or tortoise. Or whatever. Okay. And then if we go through here, that should work nicely. So what I'll do, so I know exactly how far we have to go. I'll dig. <laughs> Look at all the gravestones building up. Yeah, I haven't been dying. Not at all. <laughs> Okay, so we'll build down a bit here, and now we'll sort of start to build across, so we can sort of see exactly how far we have to go. And so, here we are, back in our arena, and, ooh, some cobalt breastplate, that's awesome. So basically from this platform, this is where the ground used to be, and I've just hollowed out quite a large area, and that will allow all the spiky balls to fall down there. So hopefully, hopefully, that makes the difference. The, uh, the deciding factor in this massive battle. So I'll put a campfire, pardon me, along uh, this platform. And that, that's pretty much all we needed, I think. Um, I don't, I, I think we were, we would have killed Plantera uh, in that battle. We were doing enough damage, but we just, yeah, we were just getting hit by her attack so much. So I pretty much won't drop below this platform, but all the spiky balls will go down here. So I actually I brought down a Spelunker potion, um, and I guess our mission now is to hopefully find a close by... Oh my gosh, these hornets. Alright, going to bust out some uh, Mega Shark just to clear the area a bit. So yeah, I guess the, the goal is to hopefully find a close by... Oh my gosh, the mobs! They're everywhere! I think I'll start actually building some platforms near our arena. And it's surprising how often you get bulbs spawning a lot closer to you that way. Because, yeah, there just doesn't seem to be too many around. But we did also just beat the last mech boss, so it does take a while for them to start spawning all over the jungle. So. What I normally do is just make them underneath the arena. Um, so that's probably going to be the best, although there is also some big areas I haven't explored around here, so it might be worth checking these out. Oh, another life for it too. So let's grab this. And so we're about to fight Plantera again because finally a bulb has spawned. And I know it probably doesn't seem like it to you guys because, you know, I just sort of edit through and skip ahead, but um, I reckon I've been searching for a bulb for like two hours. This is kind of crazy, um, but we're almost there. And I've noticed good old Billy Marrows, the skeleton merchant, has spawned. And I haven't really used yo-yos much, but we probably should get the yo-yo glove. I've got four platinum in the bank, so that's kind of cool. And the yellets has been dropping a lot. So, that could be useful. Um, so, we'll just see. So, I'll put that in my inventory anyway. So, we've got them saved for now, which is cool. And, unfortunately, he's probably going to die during uh, the Plantera fight very, very shortly. But, hey, what can you do? So, what's his name again? Billy Marrows. Unfortunately, you're about to be eaten by a giant plant. But, it's all good. So, let's get this started. Okay, it's time for Plantera. Our buffs are on. We've got our extra pirate spawned. Oh my gosh, she spawned above me. Not fair, not fair. <laughs> not fair. Okay. Alright. So, there's a lot of differences with Plantera in expert mode. And 
I'm really pleased because I was complaining that the mech bosses were too easy. And I like how they've upped the challenge with Plantera. I think it's really awesome. So the first thing is that she can shoot through blocks now, which means you can't hide from her projectiles, which I love. I think that's awesome because it just a simple thing like that increases the difficulty quite a bit. Actually, quite a lot. <laughs> actually, I might get these Nimbus a little bit more on the side, maybe. Okay. Uh, another thing I noticed is when she goes into her second form, uh, the little plant things are everywhere. They grow off her vines and... Yeah, it's kind of tricky. And I think we may actually have to make a... A weapon that has air of effect damage because the chlorified bullets are not that good against it actually. Because they can only attack one of the little plants at a time. And I can't ignore I can't ignore them because they're homing in on them. You know, like if I was using a different weapon I could just focus on Plantera's head, but But we just have to keep Ah, uh, no, 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 stay away from me. Stay away! Crazy plant! Let's go, can we get some honey? Did I get honey then? Yes, I, I think I did. Oh my gosh, finally. We, we get, we've created some breathing room here. Oh, oh my gosh. I will not be sorry to see this fight over. <laughs> this is a hard fight. <laughs> oh, okay, we, we're getting close, guys. We're getting close. Oh my god, crazy plan! Leave me alone! <laughs> 5,000! Oh, finally! Those little, little eater viney things are out of the way. <gasps> 2,000! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! We can do this! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, yep, and here come all the mobs again. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, it's a nymph. Awesome. Oh my gosh, we've done it. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, this is kind of good, and you know, if we do want to farm Plantera, at least we've got a, a good arena for her now. Oh, wow. Well, I guess we should open some treasure bags, shouldn't we? Okay, it's time for treasure. Let's open up our treasure bag. Let's just make some room in our inventory first for all this amazing loot that is about to come out. I'm so excited. Alright, and three, two, one, boom! <gasps> Yay! Okay, so we got the grenade launcher, which is actually... That's kind of nice, I like that. I'm pretty sure it explodes on impact. Does it? I don't know. Can I, can I hit a mob to try it? <laughs> Goodness. Okay. Oh, well. <gasps> Pygmy stuff! I can't believe I didn't even notice that! Oh my gosh. See ya, pirates. <laughs> pygmies are so much better than pirates. Oh, that's so good! I can't believe we got pygmies! Yes! Oh, and the spore sack. I'm kind of interested to use this, to be honest. Let's, let's take off the shield of Cthulhu. So... They do a lot of damage, from what I can tell, the spores. So let's... Let's see if we can test this out. I'm, I'm interested to try it. So let's go downtown. See if we can find some monsters. Hey, turtle. Tortoise. So our pygmies. Oh, guys. This was a much needed power up, I believe. Much needed indeed. Oh, so good. So, so good. Wow. Okay, and that was it. And we've got our temple key now. So we can enter the temple finally. It's going to be so awesome. I can't wait. Oh, and a new banner. Let's add that. <laughs> you can see I've been here a while. <laughs> I've got banners for nearly every mob that spawns here. <laughs> and thanks so much as always for watching another episode of our Expert Mode Let's Play. I can't believe we just got the pygmy stuff. That is like so amazing. And the reason I'm so excited is, you know, once you've got your pygmy stuff in Terraria, you can buy the Tiki set from the Witch Doctor. Which means we can get the full Tiki armor, summon heaps of pygmies, which should really help us when we try and farm Plantera a bit more to get some other drops. And also um, to fight the golem, because 
I'm a little concerned. I think Golem in the temple in expert mode is going to be beastly difficult. Based on how tough Plantera was, like, oh, love expert mode. It's so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's time for some shout outs as always. And our first one's from Nolan Pearson. And he's asked me to say, why is Happy so happy? Why? Because he ate way too much McDonald's as a kid, of course. Oh my gosh. Um, we we used to have McDonald's as a treat, like every maybe once a month or every two months. And I don't know if you guys used to do it. Let me know in the comments if you did. I did that thing where you take the top off the burger and put all the chippies in it. <laughs> and if you haven't tried it yet, try dipping the chips in the chocolate sundae. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, we've got our next one from Stealthy X Nikki. <laughs> Stealthy? It's got a three in it, but I'm pretty sure it's Stealthy X Nikki. And they've asked me to say Super Catala Fragilistic XP Alidocious. Five times really fast. Oh my god. Alright, <laughs> let's try. Super Catala Fragilistic. <laughs> no, failed halfway through the first time. <laughs> Thanks for that, Stealthy. That's awesome. Okay, our next one's from American versus British. And they've asked me to say Happy Days in a squeaky voice. Squeaky voice? Squeaky! Oh my gosh. Happy Days! <laughs> Thanks for that one, American. Okay, and our next one, American versus British, rather. Our next one is from Gone One, and he's asked me to say, in Gavin's voice, you have met your doom, bunny. <laughs> nice one, and that makes sense because I'm flying around as Gavin at the moment. And our last shout out for the day is from Hans Faye, and they've asked me to say, I, sir. Just I, sir. And that feels like a pirate thing to me, so I'm going to say, I, sir. I, sir. <laughs> nice one. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, leave that little like. Little like. Leave a little like. Like, as opposed to a big like. <laughs> yeah, but click that like button if you've enjoyed the episode. Keep those comments coming. Give me some tips if you've got some. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner. <gasps> 51,000 subscribers, guys. Oh, my God. My head's, like, exploding from happiness at the moment. Um, we're going to... I'm releasing a celebration video very soon. I've been working on updating my Ultimate World for 1.3. So that will come out as part of the celebration video. And we're going to do a game giveaway, as always. So get excited. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. You've got to be part of our channel to be in the giveaway. And it's going to be awesome fun, you know. So get excited for it. Thank you so much. All right, until next time, here's the most important part. You all stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The Mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It's just... Oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!